Hi, this is TJ with the Piano Clubhouse, and today I'm going to show you how to play Song of Solomon by Ben Tankard. The song's in the key of F major. F has one accidental, which is uh, B flat. Uh, the scale of F is F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and F. All right. So, this is an instrumental song. We usually, typically don't do instrumental songs here at Piano Clubhouse, um, but this is a request that we, that we've been asked to do. So uh, it's going to be a fun one to do. Fairly simple. Um, the interesting thing about this uh, song is not only is it instrumental, but the chords. Matter of fact, what you're going to be playing is not really chords, not solid chords. Whereas you're playing not just chords where you're playing notes down at the same time with your right hand or even with your left hand. Everything is going to be individual notes played. Your right hand is going to be playing individual melody line. Your left hand is going to be playing individual note arpeggios. Um, so there will be no chords, no solid chords. It will be just mostly broken chords or individual notes played throughout the song. So I'm going to start it off a little bit, play the first uh, part of the song. Uh, this song has two sections to it. Uh, we'll start off with the first section. Uh, there is really no introduction. It just starts right into the uh, first part of the song, part A of the song, okay? starts over. So that is the uh, that's the first verse of the song, first section of the song. Uh, again, you didn't see any chords in either my right hand or my left hand. No solid chords where I'm playing more than one note at the same time. It's always an individual note with the left hand or the right hand. So um, <clears throat> one thing when you're especially when you're playing an instrumental song that has a solo going on, you need to become very very familiar with the solo itself um, so that you can adequately play them. I'm, I'm going to show you every note, but when you're doing a solo, playing this style of song is more dependent on how you feel and how you want to play the particular solo and how you interpret it and how you how it translates to your playing. So you might not play it exactly like it was done on the album, but you want to kind of base what you're doing around that, okay? So, um, I'll start out showing you the right hand, the solo part, and I'll just show you a, a simple bass line with the right with the left hand um, to put the right to with the left hand I'm sorry so you can put the right hand in perspective so watch the right hand I'll show you the left hand in a minute but watch the right hand okay so starting on the A A B flat A G F G then A B flat C F D then D E F E, D, I'm sorry, C, then F, D. Okay, let's just stop right there. One more time. G, F, G, A, B flat, C, F, F, D, then D, E, F. E, C, F, D. Okay. Now, one thing I need to stress with the right hand, um, there's some grace notes you can add to make the right hand flow even more cleaner and smoother. Watch. That flip right there. Instead of going, 
hitting A straight. That second time I went to the A, I flipped from the A flat down to the A. I did it really fast. That's kind of a one note grace note you can do. There's another grace note. If I went from B to C, I used two fingers to do that. time right there from the D flat to the D okay now now uh, this next one you can do a grace note here to the F or I'm gonna add here kind of a, a multiple note grace note where instead of doing just using just the E I'm gonna go I'm gonna add one two three grace notes go sliding to the F I did them really fast, sliding to the F. I hit the D with my second finger. I used my third finger to hit both the E flat, pulled it down to the E, and then F. You heard that? I did two notes there, C, D flat, and D. Same concept, second finger here. Use the third finger to pull down from D flat to D. Okay. Another little grace note there. I use a three note grace note there. So just that little, little differences right there can uh, make the song go from being sounding plain and almost like robotic to having some character and having some feel to it, okay? <clears throat> so now I've given the right hand, let's add the left hand to that. Uh, so, F first, then up to G. We're just going up the scale. Now, let me stop right here. I'm going to show you the basic version first and then show you how to uh, fill in the left hand even more. So I'm showing you the simple bass line first, one note at a time. Then I'll show you how we can add, um, I'll do two or three different versions of the left hand. One with just a simple bass note, another one adding the fifths, another one adding an octave, then another one adding the third, which is an octave higher. And I'll show you each of those progressions as we go to it, okay? So first, starting with F. We'll look at the left hand now, G. We're just going up the scale. Now we're skipping to D. Back down to A. B flat. Okay, then we go back to D. Down a half step. To D flat, then to C. Then to B. One more half step down to B flat. To C, F. Okay, that's the simplest form of the left hand. Now let's add the fifth. Now we're not doing them together. We're going to be doing, matter of fact, I'm going to add the fifth and the octave. Okay. So when I say octave, I just mean whatever note I'm hitting in the in the furthest left. I'm going to use my thumb to play the note an octave higher, the same note an octave higher, and I'll show you the note we're going to be adding in the middle. So we're adding the fifth and the octave to every note. So for the first one, we're going to go F, C, then G, D, A, and E, B flat and F. So when we're doing this part, we're, when we're walking down half steps with the left, start on the D, D, A, D, go down to D 
flat. And for this one, I want you to. Uh, you know what? Let's keep doing octaves. I'll show you something next time. C and G. And here we'll do B, B, G, B. B flat, F, B. C. And then F. Okay. So, that's kind of the second iteration of how we could do it. <clears throat> this last way is uh, the way that it's in the recording, where your left hand is going to be doing and not just the octave, but you're going to stretch to the third above the octave. This is interval here, but from the F to the A is a third. So we're going to have F, we're going to do the fifth, and then we're also going to do the third. Now when they're all put together, the first, the fifth, and the third, in the correct order, it's just F, A, C. It's an F major chord. But by taking this third and moving it up an octave by spreading it out, um, it just may, gives it more of a full sound. And you don't, I have big hands so I can kind of do it, keeping my hands in position. You don't have to have big hands to do it. It's just a matter of pivoting. You can do that. F, C, and then pivot your hand up to the A. Okay. the big big hands to make the big stretch it's just a matter of pivoting your hands pivoting your fingers to the next notes okay so let's move let's go to this now third uh, way of doing the left hand with the uh, thirds at the top F C A G D B flat A F C B flat F D, and I kind of did C, D, I kind of just threw that extra C in there, uh, D, A, F, A, F, C, so right here they do something a little different, we're going to do the actual octave here, B flat, F, B, and the right hand is just going to do uh, go up the scale, not up the scale, but up the, uh, just go up fifth, C, F, C, F, C, and then come down to A. So B flat, F, B flat in the left, then just C and F with the right, C, F, C, F, C, and then down to A. Okay. More time the last part okay um, so that's that whole iteration there uh, that whole first section with the right hand and left hand um, let's move on to the next section I'll play it first and I'll show you show it to you Just finish with the. Uh, then we go back to the D, and I'm just going to start. I'm going to begin to show you. Uh, I'm just going to show you the last iteration of the left hand from this point on, where uh, the octaves and the third up high. Now, if you need a simpler version, just watch what my pinky is doing this first note. If you're just going to do one note at a time, just do what my pinky does. If you want to do just the fifth and the octave, just do the pinky do what my uh, second finger is doing and then instead of doing that third
just do the octave up from here, okay? Instead of the, okay, so it's up to you. Hopefully you can kind of pick out, pick and choose how you want to do it. Of course, the uh, more full you get, the more dynamic you're going to sound. Okay, so this next section, uh, left hand D, E, F, E, F, G, again D, E, F, E, F, G, same thing, one more time, D, E, F, D, same three notes, okay, so we did a lot of D, E, Fs, again, D, E, F, we have the G right there, D, F, okay, simple with the right hand, left hand, uh, D, A, F, now left hand goes down to D, I want you to leave this A here in the middle, and we're going to uh, we're gonna add this E, okay? D, A, F. D, A, E. C, A, E. Then B, G, D, okay? F, D, and I like to add that C, then up to C, B flat, D, this one's a little bit different, this, uh, this isn't a third here, I mean this is not a fifth, excuse me, so this uh, interval is a little bit different, here it is, C, B flat, D, and then the beginning, F, C, A, then it turns around. And then to, uh, to turn around and go back into the verse, back to the beginning, go back to C, B flat, D, the one we just did. And the right hand is kind of play around with B flat, A, G. I think that's how it goes. So, that second section. the beginning up to this point. to the next section it's a little bit it's similar to that second part I just showed you but there's a slight difference um, so it's right there at the end I showed you how to turn it around then it goes back to the beginning so when when you don't want to go to the beginning and you're ready to go to the next section of the song that turnaround is a little bit different instead of going to the F to turn it around you're gonna to go to the D flat, A, E. Okay. So let me show you that real quick all together. Uh, here's the change. So the right angle still kind of do that that kind of walk down from the C, down the scale. 
but the big difference is where the left hand goes. If you're going to the beginning, you go to the C. Okay, C, B flat, D. If you're taking to the second section, you're going to go up to that D flat, A, E. So that's very important on uh, this is kind of the fork in the road. If you're going to go back to the beginning, you go C, B flat, D. If you're going to turn around and go to the second section of the song, you go up to that D flat. Okay, D flat, 